Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has stated that Israeli forces have entered the second phase of war in Gaza as they pressed ground operations against Hamas terrorists running the Palestinian enclave. Netanyahu has warned that the war would be long and difficult and reiterated Israel's appeal to Palestinian civilians to evacuate the northern Gaza Strip where Israel was focusing its attack. He vowed that every effort would be made to rescue the hostages held by Hamas. My colleague Ajay Jandal still with us. Ajay, over to you. What details can you give our viewers? There seems to be a connectivity issue on my colleagues' end, uh, but of course, uh, these uh, you can see the statement of uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reflected on your screens. He stated that uh, Israel will fight; they will not retreat. He's of course emphasized that the war has entered its second phase in uh, Gaza. Meanwhile, uh, joining us on the broadcast is Mr. Sanjeev Srivastav, international affairs expert. Good morning, sir, and thank you for joining us on NewsX. Uh, a big statement by Israeli Prime Minister. He's, of course, uh, reiterated uh, and spoken about uh, you know, action against Hamas. He stated that Israel will fight, they will not retreat. And they're, of course, uh, focusing their ground assault in northern Gaza. And he's also vowed that every effort would be made to rescue the hostages held by Hamas. What do you make of this statement? Well, Pia, first of all, a very good morning to you. Good morning to all the uh, viewers. Uh, you know, uh, this uh, uh, war uh, which Israel has waged is obviously a war against terrorism. And uh, Israel is uh, very much... Uh, are uh, determined uh, to uh, defeat and decimate um, this terrorist organization, Hamas. <clears throat> and the kind of uh, attack uh, they carried out against Israel is obviously unacceptable. And uh, Hamas-like terrorist organizations must be eliminated, and for which Israel is uh, very much uh, you know, determined to uh, do so. And uh, till now, you know, uh, Israeli defense forces, uh, they were conducting air strikes, but it appears uh, that uh, they have uh, begun uh, ground uh, uh, invasion, uh, uh, e even uh, the hostage crisis is still there uh, and uh, we also know that uh, Hamas, uh, use, uh, Hamas is using uh, various uh, residents of uh, Gaza in the uh, northern Gaza as human seat. Also, uh, you know, regional situation will have to be kept in mind. So I think uh, when uh, Israel is going to be launching the second phase, which it appears that uh, they have uh, uh, gradually uh, uh, begun this process, and until now, the reports were there that uh, the uh, Israeli defense forces were conducting raids in Gaza and they were coming back. But now the latest reports are suggesting that uh, they are staying back there uh, for a while and uh, most of the targets uh, uh, they have hit is uh, the tunnel network uh, which, uh, which uh, Hamas has, has uh, uh, created for the last uh, you know, uh, uh, several, several years uh, from 2007 you know, uh, onwards. So it appears that uh, they are targeting tunnels and the uh, reports are suggesting that uh, in, on Friday, uh, the, this operation, uh, Israeli uh, defense forces struck about 150 tunnels. And uh, in that operation, about 100 fighter jets uh, and also uh, you know, infantry and uh, artillery, uh, both uh, they participated in this operation and, uh, and they stayed, they are still you know, operating there. So it appears that uh, they are going to launch a second phase, certainly. Uh, but uh, I think Israel will have to take care. The first of all, the foremost thing is the human, uh, humanitarian, you know, uh, side and, uh, uh, and and civilian casualties must be minimized. Collateral damages uh, must be minimized. International humanitarian laws must be followed, and that is uh, very much a required uh, thing to do uh, for Israeli defense forces, which I am sure that Israel is a professional army and that they are, uh, you know, a uh, responsible nation. So I think they will. Uh, it, it is expected uh, from them that they will follow uh, international humanitarian laws. But this cannot be expected from Hamas, obviously, because they are a terrorist organization. Uh, and the second thing is that with regard to hostage uh, situation, I think Israel will have to be, you know, uh, uh, will have to continue its uh, uh, efforts uh, to secure their release as much as they can, as early as they can. And that, uh, that priority uh, should not be lost in that process when they are going to launch the you know, second uh, phase. And that is what precisely United States of America is also 
uh, said uh, that the, uh, getting these hostages released is one of the top priorities at this point of time. And I think the talks are going on and the mediation of uh, with Qatar and other countries. But um, if Israel conducts uh, know, major operations and uh, if it launches uh, a full-fledged operation inside Gaza, a ground invasion, then uh, it, it, it will be very, very difficult for, uh, for to secure the release of those hostages. So I think Israel will have to still take care. And, is, and this war is going to be a long war. And Israel will have to show a lot of uh, patience also at the same time. And uh, they cannot do things in a hurry, otherwise they will be losing their men also. And these hostages also, uh, they, uh, uh, they might lose in that process. So I think Israel will have to uh, be cautious, careful, patient uh, while uh, moving ahead uh, with their campaign. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.